Hello, my dudes. Let's get back with some space engineers. Now, I can't help but feel that this video is is actually going to turn into more of a uh, a confession as to what the hell is going on. Although, for most people on YouTube here, people are probably going to be none the wiser as to what's going on. Well, let's just say life is happening. Not as in a depressing way, which is usually how things go, but more in the sense I have been very, very busy, which is uncharacteristic of me because I've got to be honest, I don't exactly have a full time job, and my job is mostly what I can get done uh, between sales and other things. Um, so my time on engineers, and for that matter, other games, has been a bit sort of sporadic. As I can't lie, I've not exactly been on engineers as, as much, actually, to be fair. I think this is the first time this week, <laughs> although saying that it is Monday. Whatever, um, but anyway, I do have a small thing behind me, and um, like I said, I'm. this is more of something I had to rustle up rather quickly, as, like I said, I'm kind of trying to keep the quota of videos going along. Although I definitely, as much as I don't want to beg for suggestions, suggestions for possible ideas of ships and the like, or anything you can think of, are certainly welcome in the comments. And this thing is a very simple, uh, simple thing. I'm kind of going to call it the Solar Leaf, even though I have to look at this about 17 times over, and this thing does not really look like a leaf. It's more of like a upright sail, I suppose, in this case using the hover engines, which I have not used in a while, but hovering, hovering is quite efficient in terms of power. It's definitely more than wheels, but less than thrusters, so that was kind of it. Um, but for those who are at least a little bit eagle-eyed, um, just a couple of things before I show you this very, very admittedly simple ship. Uh, is yes, my camera is a bit bigger in the top left, although I did that more just for... Well, I suppose it was more... my camera was a bit too small anyway, but... If you're wondering what the fuck am I doing, because like, without an actual job to go to, people will probably be wondering why am I not playing games, at least the games that I usually should do for the channel. I suppose I have been distracted with Oxygen Not Included as of recently, uh, which is probably the big uh, contender for like most of last week, as they had the launch update, and maybe... Actually, that's a good point. If, you, if you, any of you out there want to see me do an Oxygen Not Included series, then let me know. I don't know how that would actually go, to be honest, because that is a game that is rather hectic in the beginning, very slow in mid-game, and trying to find entertaining conversation, as I do kind of have to uh, think of what I'm saying on the fly. As you mostly know, I don't use scripts. Uh, I don't. I just press, press record, and I just speak to the camera. I can't say I'm f the most fluent in uh, what comes out of my mouth when I uh, record videos, but I can usually get a conversation going for the most part, or at least try not to go, um, um, well, what the fuck am I doing? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I'm a master of rambling, let's just put it that way. Um, so, games have been distracting me, and I have been selling way too much stuff, and the long and the short is, eBay has been my income for the longest time, and I've basically, within the space of like 72 hours, I've had about like 10 plus orders come in for like various things that I'm selling. And it's just a virtual logistics headache at the moment, trying to get everything, you know, packaged, labelled and shipped. Uh, and finding the costs and dealing with all the extra bills that come along with that. So, I've just been busy, is the simple term with real life stuff. Anyway, ramble aside, I just need to get, I just want to keep you guys in the loop of what the fuck is going on. As otherwise, you know, technically videos are the only way I can keep in, you know, my audience up to date, uh, or in my admittedly small audience, up to date with what the hell's going on with life, videos, and everything in between. So sometimes, I have to try and find 5-10 minutes to ramble about what the fuck is going on. Sermon over with, I think I've got everything off my chest for the moment. Um, the... But like I said, this being a quote-unquote, well, vaguely leaf thing, uh, I was more... the idea of a, like a transport thing in the shape of a leaf being also solar, um, that came as a very small idea because another one of the many things I've done recently, I've been doing a bunch of um, other modifications to my personal little solar grid in the garden, uh, and, well... There's a bunch of stuff happening with that, and I've been trying to rustle some money together to get some more parts to, you know, expand that as best I can. You know, I'm not, I'm not a raving eco kind of guy, but I do like to do at least my little bits as, let's be honest, the global superpowers have us doomed, if I'm being honest. I try not to be too depressing, but I don't, I think the human race is still doomed, but let's be fair, we can only do our little bit. Um, but... You know, as a small solar hovering transport, that's kind of what this little thing is. So if I sort of hop up into here, you can sort of see the rough idea of this. It's a very tall and thin design, and actually, the hover engines make this um, this vehicle rather steady, uh, to say the least. Um, now, the intention was to have this thing entirely run off of uh, 
Let's just turn that off a second here. So just turning off dampeners will make this thing bounce quite a bit. Hopefully it doesn't smash into the ground. It is going to smash into the ground. Let's just turn it off. Um, but the idea was to have this thing entirely solar powered, but turns out that using the small panels, or should I say having this vehicle rather small in the first place, definitely limits my options in terms of power, because this thing requires more power than I anticipated, and that's more because of the uh, thrusters. We have like forward and back thrusters, and a couple heli carrier thrusters you can see there on the very left hand side towards the front. Uh, and I also stuck like four sentry guns, um, sentry turrets, on the uh, on the front there, so you know this is be like a, a speeder slash light patrol vehicle. So uh, let's just move on forwards, and I'll just show you how this thing drives. I mean, it's a hover vehicle. Hover vehicles are incredibly stable vehicles, and they f and they drive and handle pretty well. You'll notice the power consumption very quickly does overload, and that is mostly because of the helicarrier thrusters. Um, I do actually ha I did have to add a um, uh, a reactor to the uh, underside there. You can sort of see it towards the back. Um, and that's, like I said, it's just because the power was a little bit, um, power consumption was higher than I had anticipated, so I had to compensate in this case with a reactor. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, I suppose to follow up on this sort of vehicle, maybe I might try to make a proper, like, much larger version that I don't even think, is it, I don't know if it's even possible, I suppose it is if I build, like, a large ship variant of this. But I'd actually try and make this ve uh, a vehicle like this actually completely solar powered and able to do pretty much the exact same things that this vehicle does, but in this case on a larger scale. Although I think the only Achilles heel to the pl uh, to that idea is the fact that I am not exactly the best of builders, despite what people might sometimes say to me in the comments that you know I do good, I have good builds and the like. I mean, if they pl if if these builds are pleasing to some people, then you know that's good. But I still don't believe myself to be a very decent, a very good builder. And sometimes abstract things, in this case, uh, if I want to try and make an actual leaf shaped, uh, think of it as like a sail, I guess, uh, to the center body, you know, that kind of shape doesn't come sort of. It doesn't just like pop into my head like, oh, I I could make. You know, I can design such a, a a shape, you know, easily. I mean, maybe I could if I really did put my mind to it, uh, but alas, it's not exactly easy for me to do so. Hence, why the actual shape of this thing is more turned into the cross section of an egg, which is probably the be a better thing to describe this thing as. But you know, all in all, I suppose as a prototype, you can sort of see roughly what I was going for. And I do mean roughly, with massive inverted inverted commas. Uh, but yes, I don't think there's anything further I need to say about this vehicle, other than the fact that I can't get this thing to stop. Um, this is actually where the aerodynamics mod would be useful, because with such a large cross-section to the vehicle, um, travelling at some speed and just doing left and right turns, well, that huge surface area of the body would actually um, aid in my turning uh, performance. But, you know, I don't have that mod installed currently on this particular world. Um, but yes, you get the point of this vehicle. So, anyway, like I said, uh, let me know... Well, let me know what you think of this vehicle down below in the comments. Uh, like I said, as my ideas are waning once again, it happens every so often. Just suggestions for possible builds uh, are always welcome in the comments. Uh, and like I said, let me know as well about maybe an auction not included Let's Play thing now that the, you know, update... Uh, to the game, or the, the freaking game's released, I should say. Um, even though something tells me I'm just going to get so enraged because I'm a perfectionist in games like Oxygen Not Included. And I actually do spend more often than not uh, looking for the perfect starting world with perfect resources. Uh, I try to get, you know, <laughs> try to get good duplicate stuff like that. I literally, it's been like with Skyrim, you know, I spend literally hours modding Skyrim without actually playing the freaking game because I just want things to be just so. Oxygen not included, I'm afraid, does kind of fall into that very same category. Although, I suppose for the most part, you probably won't see, if I do a Let's Play this, you won't see any of that because I'll just have to slave away for hours in the background, satisfying my, uh, <sighs> is ego the right word? I don't know, but satisfying my, um, my desire to get things perfect or close to in the game, and hopefully I don't rage, as that also happens if I'm not careful. But anyway, you get the point. I am rambling once again. So, like I said, let me know, things, let me know what you think of all this down below in the comments. Any answers to the things I just said, let me know in the comments as well. Links to my Discord in is also in the description. And you know the drill by now. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.